Should have had a meet. Should have had a media world championship. Put some free food out there, and we'll all go. I tell you what. Next year we'll do a media world championship. And we'll, we'll see what everybody can do. <laughs> Just want to learn more about you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tell me when you're ready, guys. Okay, first of all, uh, real pleased with the crowd. I mean, it was a great crowd out there. Uh, I think they enjoyed it. Played a half of football, um, let everybody play. It was good. There was some good, some things to do a little bit better. Bottom line, our guys were hustling. Overall, you look at it, you know, from head coach's standpoint, we had a really good spring. Um, you know, we, we held R.J. Harvey out. We didn't get him tackled during the, the spring, but he did a lot of good things in practice, a non-tackle. Uh, Kobe Hudson, he got banged up early in the fall, you know, uh, spring, but gave some other guys some opportunities. Uh, there were a few explosive plays. Um, you know, we were trying to throw it. It was windy, pretty windy out there. Uh, you know, watched a little bit of the Masters today. I think it was pretty similar, right? There. It was kind of hard to throw the deep ball. But overall, you saw our defense, I mean, a lot more aggressive. Um, did some really good things. Offensively did some good things. I thought our quarterbacks, you know, going live, obviously KJ wasn't live. But the other guys really made some plays with their feet at time. I think it's really good for a defense, too, anytime a quarterback can go live. And, you know, if you let KJ go live, it's a different story with that. But like I said, overall, pleased. Um, you know, it was fun at the very end. You know, Eric Del Salvo. You know, he was kind of under the weather. He pulled a little Jordan moment, came up about a half a step short, you know, of the 40, but I was proud of him being the sitter not and, and all that. And the horse got off to a bad start. I was a little disappointed about his start. You know, he was turned sideways when I said go. That didn't make any sense to me. And the fans, they came out of the stands and, and uh, they did a pretty good job with that. But overall, good spring. Questions? Coach, what was your biggest takeaway from these last three or so, three or so weeks of spring ball? Did anything really stick out to you? In this spring, yeah, you know, this spring, you know, there's a couple things that stood out to me. We got some playmakers on defense, um, you know, and obviously we didn't stop the run very well. That's been a focus of our defense, Ted Roof, and bringing pressures. Our, our guys have really disrupted a lot of things up front. Um, you know, offensively, it's really good to develop some of the other uh, receivers. I think that was good. Our offensive line working together has had a good camp, and then you know, um, you know, our quarterbacks have done a Solid job. KJ is every day getting more comfortable running the offense, and so overall, you know, I think we're in a good spot. Obviously, the portal's coming up, and uh, get through that time, um, and then we'll uh, get ready and have a great, great summer and get ready for uh, the season. I guess along those lines, you mentioned the portal. How the next week or so? How crucial is that time for you to be in contact with all your players and trying to make sure yeah. everything is kind of where you need to be at? Yeah, point you know, in this next week, uh, you know, we'll lift. We'll have uh, exit meetings with our players. I mean, we're very hopeful to hold on to to our guys, and uh, you know, you just never know. We'll see what happens, but I think we're in a in a good spot overall, and uh, you know, but but we'll see. Obviously, it's just spring coach, but um, you mentioned Kobe not practicing for most of the spring and all that other guys stepping in. How important might that opportunity be for KJ to build that chemistry with these other guys under pressure late in the fall? Yeah. To get out? No, it, it, it's been really good. Um, you know, Xavier Townsend, you, you saw him. We played him more to the boundary tonight. You know, he's a guy that we're going to move around, play all three positions, and he's done a good job playing. You can tell he's so explosive once he has the ball. Uh, with everything that's going on, but uh, overall, you know, I think KJ has a good understanding of the offense, and and we're going to build around his strengths too, uh, just like we've done with every other quarterback we've had. Quick follow-up, coach. How are you kind of impressed by how quick the chemistry between Xavier Townsend and KJ has developed? Yeah, I mean, I think so. I mean, you understand KJ's played a lot of football. I mean, a whole lot of football. That's probably the one takeaway that when he's here, he understands things. The game's not too quick. Uh, he's calm under pressure, and you can see. I mean, he hangs in the pocket and, and does a good job with that. But yeah, he has good good uh, chemistry. And Randy Pittman's had a really good spring too. You know, he's done a really good job. What's the most important thing you think your defense has accomplished over the course of this? Spring? You know, just really getting our identity probably more than anything. I mean, just aggressive attacking style. They're flying around. They're having fun. Uh, you know, there's you know the veterans we brought in and played a lot of football too. And our guys that have played two years, they're starting to grow up, and they're different than they were last year. So really, it's a combination of both. It's just a, a confident defense. That's probably the best way that I could put it. There's been a lot of hype about the transfer class that you guys brought in a couple of months ago through these spring practices. Has there been any like specific transfers who have really stood out to you? 
Yeah, I, honestly, you know, I think most of them. I mean, I, I think all of them are going to help us. I, I don't think that we missed on any of them. I mean, they're, they're all football players. They all fit in well. Uh, they're team guys. They want to do everything they can to, to help our team. Um, so that's been the thing that stood out to me. Considering the varying levels of experience and size and speed and skill sets, what's the way you uh, you guys hope to mix and match at the linebacker spot by the time fall is rolled? Right? Yeah, you know, I mean, Ted's got a good plan. The good thing is, you know, we hadn't had much depth in the linebacker position the last couple of years. Y'all know that. We have depth now. I think we have quality depth, and it's going to, um, you know, be a deal where Ted will have some 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 different things, maybe some different packages. And but the good thing is we got depth, quality depth, and, and that'll be a really good thing. Our defensive line, we feel very good about that. I mean, you can see that first defensive line; they're very disruptive. It doesn't matter who you put over there on the offensive line. With Kobe not practicing this spring, you got to see a lot of the wide receivers. Do you feel comfortable with the depth there? Or is that maybe a position? Yeah, you know, Trent Whittemore's done a, a good job. Um, you know, Jared Baker, you saw the explosive play. He really has. Chauncey Magwood's done a good job. Um, you know, with with that, uh, Bradell Richardson, he's made every play. Y'all seen it out there. I mean, every play, every game. I mean, uh, practice, he's made one of those catches that you go wow so he's got a lot of potential and uh, you know I'm probably leave some guys out but the good thing is those guys got chances to show you know what they can do Colin Fox is a guy that we moved split him out instead of put his hand down so we want to develop him he's half a receiver half a tight end we think he's a good mismatch and he had a good spring too Although it's the spring game, both defenses had nine sacks combined. What does that yeah. show about the growth of the entire defense? Overall? Yeah, well, you, you see not just the defensive line, but you see the pressures. I mean, there wasn't a whole lot of base defense out there. You saw them linebackers. Them linebackers had a couple of sacks too. And, uh, you know, that's going to be a good thing, you know, come fall. Coach, you mentioned uh, the defense and, and the sacks too. Let's go to the other side with the offensive line. How do you feel like they're uh, getting it together? Yeah, I think the offensive line, um, you know, the first offensive line has done some really good things. Paul Rubelt has really come on. I mean, I've been very proud of him, and he's playing at a high, high level. Mari Kite, we moved him to the left side, and he is very, very comfortable there. Um, you know, uh, it's been good. Adrian Medley, you know, he's been around and played a lot of football, and he's healthy now and doing a good job. Marcellus is doing a good job. We kind of settled him down there at guard. You know, we moved, he played four different positions last year, and so it was good. Jabari Brooks, you know, we played center and guard. Caden Kittler's done a good job. Um, you know, Cam Kenny, you saw him playing some center. You know, we started playing him some center late in the spring, did a good job with that. Dorsey, West Dorsey, the transfer, Western Kentucky, doing some solid things too. So, you know, it, uh, it, it they're coming together. Takeaways has been a point of emphasis for the defense. Uh, obviously, you had two today from Christian Peterson and Nicholas Antoine. What did you see out of those two and just your defense? Yeah, they're atta we're attacking defense. And when you attack, you got a chance for more turnovers. And that was a heck of a play. I mean, it was kind of, you know, the, the one of them it kind of should have been caught and it was pop popped up. Christian made a really good he's, – he's really had a good spring, too, for a new guy. And Antoine's had a good spring, too. We knew that, you know, he had a chance to be a really good player and did some really good things. There's been quite a few turnovers. And uh, like I said, any time you attack, uh, you know, those things happen. Coach, uh, you guys have a lot of early enrollees in, in both sides of the ball. What can you say about the importance of getting those guys in here this, this spring and kind of having – yeah, I tell you, nowadays, you know, the majority of our class came early. That really helps from a coach's standpoint, development standpoint. Those guys are really going to have a great foundation of what college football is really like. Um, you know, everyone is pretty good in college. And so, you know, some of the growing pains that you normally would experience, they have it out of the way. And, you know, a lot of those young guys you're going to see help us, you know, on Saturdays. On that note, Chase and Johnson throughout spring played with the ones and twos. Yeah. Is that kind of a role you expect him going forward in the fall to be in that mix to potentially start even as a true freshman? I tell you what, he's been very impressive. He doesn't seem like a true freshman. He really doesn't. He's got he's a great competitor. He can run. Um, you know, he's he doesn't shy away from contact. Uh, you know, he's been a, a very bright spot. Last one. You were, you were uh, talking earlier about the skills competitions. What was your favorite one to watch? And what was your favorite memory from uh, the skills competition? You know, I don't know. I, R.J. Harvey, he, he can throw it a long way. You know, and that wind, I was a little worried about the wind, but he threw it a long way. Uh, like I said, probably the horse just, he was sideways. 
you know, I mean, it's for the world championship, you know. So what we'll do, we're talking later, what we'll do next year, we're going to have a media world championship. I'm going to get you guys out there. We're going to run a 40 in front of our crowd. So just get ready, give you a whole year to get in shape, get your, you know, get, get your mind right, and uh, we'll see what you guys can do. Uh, you know, um, Scotty Scheffler, I, I don't know how it ended up, but at the very first, I mean, he, he's going to be hard to beat, you know. Um, so, I mean, obviously I root for Tiger like everybody in this room probably does. So I did get to see a little bit of that. Um, but, yeah, I'd say Scotty Scheffler probably tough to beat. Is he winning? I think it's a three-way three tie today. Yeah, Brooks Kepka, he's always a guy I root for, too. Uh, yeah. I tell you what, it made a great, it made an unbelievable impact on our players. Uh, yeah, and, and I thought it was really, really cool. And, you know, the thing about it, I told our players, let's, let's just make sure and show our appreciation. They did a video, and I thought they were going to be on the sideline clap. They went all the way over there. Tells you a lot about our guys, but that was a, a super thing, uh, you know, and for a great cause. And so we were glad to be a part of that. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Kyle, yeah, Kyle threw, so he called the double post, kind of got overthrown, and there was one, I think, got picked that he called, too. I didn't call that one, so I just went, no. All right, here we go. Got it? All right, how, how about our kicker? We didn't say anything about the kicker. So our kicker came in, back-to-back -back years. He laid an egg again. Y'all know if he kicked our tackle. I don't know if you saw that. So I told him if he missed this year, I was going to get on him. All right. So maybe he'll do better next year. Appreciate it. Thanks.